One of the first memories in my mind is receiving this Alfie toy back in the early 80s. I was like four, three or four years old. And uh, it's the Alfie 2 model. And over the years, it's gone through uh, quite a, uh, a whirlwind. And uh, as you can see, it's broken. It was in a toy box for many, many years. Unfortunately, it's broken. I put uh, batteries in it and it does not power up. There are insert cards that you put in here and it works with those cards for an educational experience for children. I don't have any of those cards. So it's very sad that it's broken. But today, I got a second one. Yeah, look at that. And uh, we're going to try it out right now. Well, I uh, opened it up. I saw some serious corrosion there. Some battery acid uh, juicy juice. And tested it. It, is, it does not work. So, yeah, today was half off. No disassemble. So when you open it, this is basically the whole toy here. That's it. That's all. Just a single circuit board with a speaker speaker can. I don't know what to make of it. It's very simple. I'm gonna clean the contacts, maybe that'll help. Got some damage here. So after futzing around with it for a little while. I figured out it was just the corroded contacts in the back that were giving the problem. Yeah, the uh, the back plate that holds these batteries in, you can see that it's bulging out a little. That's because there are two prongs here that hold it in place along with the screw. And uh, I noticed on my old Alfie that it had three prongs here. So I guess it a added more rigidity to it. At some point they had made a change and I actually have to screw around with this a little to get it to work properly. See now it's... Okay, decided to take my personal Alfie apart and clean it. And uh, as you knew before, the front of it was cracked. And uh, upon closer examination, the board is cracked. It's almost cracked in half there. You can see some no noticeable changes between mine and the one I bought today. This is a, re a newer uh, revision. has a squeaker can, a proper, well, I wouldn't say proper, but a very different squeaker can. And uh, some of the circuitry is a little different. And uh, you can see where the crack is. I don't know when that happened. It's very sad. And. Uh, the actual casing is quite different. Um, the one that I got from Unique today has three screws at the bottom. This one only has two. And uh, there are three prongs that fit inside the battery compartment there. So, I mean, I don't think I can fix this. I'm sure it is possible to fix by gluing back the board and uh, bridging wherever the uh, solder has cracked all the traces and whatnot, the pathways here but that's something beyond my uh, my knowledge base so taking a closer look at the boards this is the one that came out of my Alfie and then this is the thrift store Alfie I got today you can see the difference between the speaker and uh, there's an electrolytic capacitor on mine as well. This actually fits in the case and then uh, this cage fits over it to hold it in place. You can see minor differences here even with the uh, the face. This is the one that came out of my Alfie. The ink is different and then this is the one I found at Unique. Mine is uh, a little bit brighter looking. 
Well, I put both back together after screwing around with them for a good while. Mine is still broken. And uh, what I did, I just glued that crack back up with some uh, crazy glue. Put the board back in. Maybe I'll table that for another time. And then this guy, um, it's not all good news. This button here is broken. So is this one and this one here. These buttons do not work. Not sure why, if it's the corrosion caused by the battery leak. But uh, all the other buttons work. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, anything, let me know. All right.